Hey everyone, Cody here, and you're watching I Went Outdoors. All right, so today we are not up at the lake, and we're not on the island. We're actually at my house. So I love my house, I wanna take care of it, I wanna be here for a while, but when you're taking care of a house, things go wrong. You know, projects that you thought were small turn into major ones. And as the title says, yes, I'm dealing with rot. There is a ton of rot, not on this side of the house, but the other side of the house, and I thought it was only one trim board. There's a few boards throughout the house, like this one right here, where you could see a little rot, and I wanted to replace it with com uh, some composite. And there's another one over here. I mean, water is no joke, okay? Once that water gets in there and the paint starts chipping back, it gets bad. So the builder, he thought he had a smaller project, you know, replacing that stuff, replacing that one, and just around the house there's a few more boards. Well, it turned out it was a lot, lot more. So we're gonna walk around to the other side of the house. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know. It's a little different than what I've done so far. But uh, yeah, I think it's interesting just seeing the progression of the house and how things get fixed up and you know things that go wrong. Cause this is my life. You know, I wanna film my life so you guys you get to know me a little bit better. And Captain should be running around here somewhere, so we'll probably see him too. Some of you guys are probably saying, Cody, why did you hire out to a builder? It's only a couple boards. Well, as you can see behind me, it is a freaking construction zone. And I don't know much about carpentry. So if I don't know something, I'm gonna hire out to somebody that does and I want it done right. Now I've been learning a lot as this process has gone on. Now I never really learned carpentry from my father and my grandfather who knew carpentry didn't teach my dad. So it kind of fell into that whole thing of like, hey, I don't know it, you don't know it. <laughs> so nobody's gonna know it, but hopefully I can learn as the years go on. But uh, yeah, let me move my fat head. That is a freaking construction zone. We're gonna get a little closer and I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of what it looked like before. So it looks much, much better, right? Well, the builder has been working for the past week or so. At first he was pulling back some boards, you know, uh, there was one trim board on the back side of this. That was the rotted one. And then he said, Cody, holy crap. I have never seen this much rot behind siding that looked completely fine. I mean, let's take a look at this siding. This is good, you know, you knock on it, there's no squishiness to it, it's not crunchy, there's no, there's no water behind it. And this trim board right here, it looked completely fine on this side, but peeling it back told a totally different story. Captain, what's going on, sir? He's made an appearance today. Watch where you step, buddy, and don't be sniffing that. From those pictures, you can tell that's a lot of damage. So he said, Cody, you gotta call your insurance company because when rot is behind and hidden to you, then they might cover it. And thankfully, I think they are going to help me out. Well, now you guys are probably asking, Cody, how the heck did this happen? Why was there so much rot right there? How did water get in? Well, I will go upstairs and I will show you guys. All right, we are now exiting my master bedroom and we are going out to the uh, three season porch. Uh, it was a porch until they had to rip it up and help find where this leak is coming from. Now, I believe there was a couple leaks, okay? So let's go out to the open porch and be a little careful because there's no railing. All right, so what we're standing on right now is not much of a deck. There was a deck here, I knew it was bad and I wanted to replace it with Trex. And the builder started ripping it up and it revealed this. So this is the rubber roof it's normal, and it's supposed to seal what's underneath, aka the house. But uh, there was actually a hole in that corner. So here's a picture from last week when we first found it. Yes, we could not see that from the outside until the deck was ripped up. And when there's a hole, water will find a way. And then once it found inside uh, the house, it just started spreading everywhere. And there was structural rot. Oh my gosh, it caused so many problems. The reason why this deck rotted I mean, it wasn't really from any hole or anything. There was just so much water that was coming from these uh, valleys in the roof. And there was no gutters beforehand from the previous owners. So I had gutters installed about two years ago and it did slow down the rot on this deck, but it still needed to come up anyways. Now, right below where we're standing is actually my office. My office had some leaking as well. Dude, water finds a freaking way. Once it gets in there, it'll rot everything and it'll just, oh my gosh, it causes problems. I can finally see the end of the tunnel at the beginning when he said, Cody, should I keep peeling back, keep looking for rot? And I was like, dude, you gotta keep going. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he managed to find a lot of it. I don't think there's any more, 
thankfully, and he's doing such a good job. So shout out to Dan the Builder. You're awesome, dude. And I can't wait to do more projects that aren't like this. I don't want to deal with rot. I wanted to improve the house and add things like the composite decking and I didn't want to have to rebuild the house. But uh, you know, that's what we're dealing with. Sometimes you get problems you didn't ask for when you own a house. Now we do believe once the water got in from over there, it started spreading on this side and it expanded the boards and made gaps so water could really mess up this end of the, uh, the porch. I don't want to step over there because it's pretty squishy. He did rebuild a lot of it. I mean, you can see that, you know, that's a new board right there. That's like an older one. That's not bad. But yeah, once water gets in, oh my gosh, it'll, it'll find a way and cause you a lot, a lot of headaches. Man, being up on this porch is awesome. I know I've been complaining a lot, but you know, I gotta be thankful for what I have. And you know, this view is just so awesome. I love being here. You know, you can look around, you see more mountains. I gotta limb up a few of those pine trees, maybe cut them up to here. That way I could see those mountains over there when I'm on the porch. Same thing with this tree. Oh, there's a tractor. You know what? I should probably take that out for a spin. We have a Captain Cam. Look at him. He's so cute. Father, I'm being very cute for the camera, so can I get extra treats? Oh, I said the T word. Crap. Don't say the T word. It will be fixed in time. And if you guys want to see an update on this, please let me know. I mean, this has been the project in a half. Dad, uh, what's going on with the house? There's a lot of like stuff going on. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> That's some leftover rot, by the way. I'm gonna have to clean that up once it's not so wet. But yeah, the builder, he's doing a fantastic job. This is coming along nicely. I think he should be done in like a week. It's so weird not seeing windows right there. I mean, it looks, you know, I'm gonna get a good breeze, okay? You know, if it's a hot day, I mean, yeah, father, that'd be great. I love a breeze. You know, sometimes it get hot because I have this fur all on my body. Who's a good boy? Are you the good boy? Yes, you are. <gasps> he's wagging his tail. He's got a wiggle butt. All right, father, so we're gonna go use that tractor or what? I mean, seriously, you're just sitting here talking. Let's get going. Man, look at this. Mountains, you got a sunset. It was really rainy earlier, but it's cleared up a bit. I gotta go cutting some grass. The field has really grown out, and I've been a bit lazy. Now, I don't cut all the grass here. There's somebody that comes and helps me. Uh, he does about like two, three acres around the perimeter. And then I do the field probably about like once a month. I've been definitely slacking this year. Same thing with my haircut, man. I got to get a haircut. Now, if you are interested in what type of tractor I have, I got a Coyote. It's a 55 horsepower. And man, oh man, do I love this thing. It, it's, it's orange, but it's not a Kubota, okay? I mean, a Kubota would have been way too much money for me. And I'm a novice tractor user, so I've been learning on this thing. I mean, 55 horsepower is no joke. But when I'm brush hogging and cutting grass and stuff, I mean, it makes the job much, much easier. This back here is probably one of my favorite tools that I got so far. You can see I've been definitely putting it to good use. There's some mud back there, but it's called a box blade. And the box blade, it's got these big old teeth and you can fix driveways with them. You can go level some land. So as the teeth here dig into the ground, it'll pile up here in the back. And then as you're going along some divots, like kind of like right there, it'll fill in that hole and make it nice and level. All right, so we're gonna go turn this thing on. Put the brake on, turn the key. There we go. Come on, Captain, let's go for a ride there, brother. Get in here. No, don't run away from the tractor, brother. There you go, Captain. No, get... I gotta sit on the seat, brother. You gotta get down. No, get down. I'm driving the tractor today, Father. You ain't stopping me. How do I use it again? Now, as I'm using the tractor, Captain likes to sit down there. To look out the window for any animals, maybe turkeys, maybe foxes. But let's get going. We gotta lift up the bucket. There we go. Now let's lift up the box blade. All right, so last thing we need to do, shift the gear and it's time to go. All right, so that's been another Owen Outdoor video. My house is not gonna collapse, but there's a lot of things to fix and we'll get it done. And you guys also got to see my tractor. That's pretty freaking cool. Anyways, if you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on. It's a huge help.